my journey started in Heathrow Terminal 5, the home for the national legacy carrier British Airways. The world's best terminal as voted by the passengers in 2019 Skytrax Awards. Designed to handle up to 35 million passengers a year and with almost 200,000 square feet of retail space, making it one of the most luxurious shopping destinations. The biggest surprise was a stunning brand new Airbus A350 operated by British Airways between London and Madrid. Due to an aircraft being quite empty, I've had the privilege of being upgraded to a World Traveler Plus, which is a British Airways premium economy cabin. It offered more privacy, space and comfort, with fewer rows and a quieter cabin. For this year's winter season, a Tel Aviv and Bangalore routes will be added to its existing network of Toronto and Dubai. Overall, I've had an amazing experience with British Airways. Crew was friendly and helpful, and the brand new A350 was a great way to fly. Hello everyone, well I'm on my way to Quality Fly in Madrid, um, really excited to try out the Academy, um, have a look what it has to offer, um, meet the instructors and check out the fleet. Um, it is the first option on my list for potential academies so um, I'm really really excited. Um, let's go and check it out together. Quality Fly facilities are located at Madrid Cuatro Vientos Airport. There was a presentation by an EasyJet captain who was also an operations manager for that airline. He shared industry insight and current recruitment needs and also what kind of a skill set the airlines are looking for. He was available to answer all of our questions and there were loads of questions. After that, all current Quality Fly students lined up and we were able to ask them all sorts of questions in regards to their own personal experiences and their training. There were male and female students, all of whom had very diverse backgrounds. They came from different countries and had different cultures. However, they talked about working together to help each other succeed in the course. They seemed very focused, motivated and hardworking. A Beechcraft 200 simulator located at Quality Fly facility. I even had an opportunity to fly their third generation simulator, which was a lot of fun.
My main concern was English proficiency. However, all the instructors there were either native or fluent English speakers. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Eric Kaufman and thank you so much for checking out this video and my GoFundMe page. Uh, the Wings for Change campaign is heading strong. We are on our first vlog in Madrid um, on the number one academy on my list, which is Quality Fly. And I'm here with the managing director, um, Juan. Hello. Hello, pleased to meet you. Hello, everyone. And we will talk a little bit more about the academy and some of the questions that I've had and some of the questions that people online also had about this, this wonderful academy. Really exciting. The question on the time. Uh, first of all, I want to make very clear that to complete an uh, integrated course in 12 months is really hard. Uh, you might find the information, there are videos on YouTube about uh, students that finished in uh, 12 months. That's right. And that I think you, you yeah. saw. Uh, the amount, the intensity of the work is very, very high. I want, would like to stress that. Uh, it's a training that we only recommend to students with a very high potential, sometimes in juniors, not necessarily. There's people uh, without previous experience that also do it in, in 12 months, but uh, it's, quite, it's difficult. So first thing to keep in mind, the standard uh, length is 18 months. Uh, uh, having said that, I think that there are a few elements that uh, are key to be able to make a program in such a short time of period. First of all, it's the weather. For sure, you cannot do such a, a short uh, program in a country when you have and you will be losing flights very often. Absolutely, and I can definitely second that. The, the weather is absolutely beautiful here. This is definitely the best place to, to fly. <laughs> you were lucky also this week. Yeah, I <laughs> sometimes it's windy as well. Eh? Uh, but I think we have 300 or more sunny days per year. That makes a huge difference. Yeah. Okay. Second is the methodology. Here, the methodology at Quality Fly, which also makes it, it's an opportunity, but also makes it a little bit challenging, is that you make two months of intro course, which is similar in terms of material to a PPL course, plus some enrichments for the aircraft, uh, the navigation, communications, and so forth. And after two months, you start flying. Okay. okay. That makes a big difference. And then there's a challenging side in which you will be flying starting on the third month and you will be flying at the same time in which you will be studying your ATPL. Wow, ah, okay. okay. You, you go to five yeah. hours per class in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. And you will be flying in the mornings. And attention, because every flight, it is a preparation, briefing, flight and the briefing. Plus Amazing. a lot of stress. You really come down tired eh, yeah. after this flying. And five hours of class, which requires three hours of study every day. That's amazing. So yeah. in order, uh, that's, so it's very, very challenging in that sense. You have to study every day to keep it on the line. And it, you can imagine it's challenging when you're studying and flying at once. Imagine when you have exam season. You have exams of a number of subjects. You are studying going to class for the new subjects and you have to fly as well. Yeah, of really challenging. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can imagine. On the other hand, there are two very positive things of flying and studying at the same moment. On one hand, you make a very good connection. Everything that they are teaching you, you have already experienced it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So they talk about the technology and you feel and you see these uh, type of clouds and these uh, wind shear, these patterns you are seeing while you are learning. So you yeah. take most advantage of it. And finally, there's another thing which is very interesting and it's critical to the 12 month program, which is that every day that you have bad weather conditions and you lose a flight, you study. Yeah. Okay. If you do first all the theory and then you start flying, every day that you lose of flying, that's a full day lost. Makes sense. Because you yeah. have completed all the theory. Yeah. Here, every day that you lose of flying because of bad weather, windy, or the, the, because we do have, even yeah. in Madrid, some days of clouds, that day you'll miss the flight, but you do. Uh, you can take advantage of it studying very hard. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Um, so in terms of your fleet, I've seen some really nice brand new aircraft out there and they are slightly different choices to some of the other academies. Um, I know that some academies prefer to go with, with Cessnas, with Senecas, um, some with Diamonds, but you have gone a completely kind of um, Technum way. Um, why is that? What's the consideration and really what can the students get out of that? Mm -hmm. Well, we, the, the, our fleet now is uh, Tengnam for BFR with the Tengnam 2002, P2002. There is 
uh, after that uh, the Cessna 172 SP and finally the uh, multi-engine which is the one with the Tecnam P2006. Okay. okay. Their Tecnam is a very a modern uh, design aircraft, indeed the year is the year of design, right? okay. so 2002, which are having glass cockpit, okay, which are very uh, good to fly, in particular 2002, uh, it's low wing and it's very uh, uh, sensitive, so the feelings that you get with this one, okay, it's some feelings that afterwards will use you through, through the, all your career. But there's one very important thing about Tecna, they use Rotax motors. Okay. okay. These Rotax motors are highly efficient and one of the reasons by which uh, for enabling that the course in quality flight has a very competitive price is mm. the low consumption of Rotax motors. Mm. That's amazing, thank you so much yeah. for that. So, but, uh, just to be clear, eh, because uh, maybe Tecnam partners they see uh, it's Tecnam they have been making aircraft since uh, already I think uh, 60 or 70 years, and they are very prestigious uh, yeah. aircraft, uh, big manufacturers in, in Europe for a long while, and I think they have very very good aircraft with Garmin uh, glass cockpit. Yeah, yeah absolutely, and I've seen the cockpits; they are absolutely next gen to prepare people for the flight deck, which is of course what you're geared up to do. So still the Cessna 172, they are the 172SP, which is an, an one, it's 172R, which is one of the most powerful or more classic uh, mm -hmm. aircraft, and they are analogic, mm -hmm. okay, but uh, we believe that it is still very interesting to have a few hours our the course, in our course with analogic cockpit. That's amazing, thank you so much for that. Um, so in terms of career prospects for your students, so far you've had, I believe, 12 students graduate. Absolutely. Um, and all of them have a job, because you have on your website... Uh, yeah, well, the 100% uh, employability record is for the graduates of the first year, okay. 2018. Okay. okay. The graduates of 2018, uh, the graduation was in July, so I think we still still a little there. bit of time. The, I know there have been three offers, uh, okay. and in this case were from uh, Volotea. Volotea. Yeah, but maybe it's, I don't know yeah. if it's your next question, we have a partnership, mm -hmm. we can go deep with it. Uh, but normally in aviation you take a little bit of time eh, to find this, uh, these offers, mm -hmm. but we do expect to have uh, a very good rate of uh, graduation. And indeed, one of our the differences, or slight difference with other uh, academies, is that our vision is to be increasing as much as possible the requirements for the admission. Okay? For instance, we have not admitted yet any student without the baccalaureate. Mm -hmm. Attention, it could be. Eh? If there's a high potential, maybe a professional sportsman that has not studied at that point in time, but yeah. has a very good potential, uh, we, after the pr uh, proper exams, we would accept him. But okay. so far, it has not been the case. Yeah. There are many companies that require students to have the baccalaureate, okay, the high school, the pre-university studies, and uh, uses different names in different countries. So, so far, it has been uh, a requirement for all students. Why so? We do believe that the level okay, of the students mm -hmm. joining the school is a key prerequisite okay, to be able to afterwards to follow the classes with a high intensity level, mm -hmm. same as a prerequisite to succeed during these studies and ultimately succeed afterwards into landing a, a job. Of course, absolutely. This is, this is really the end goal, isn't it? To really get your students to come to their first airline job. Um, could you maybe share some success stories from 2018 about some of the maybe key airlines that your students have embarked upon? Because from what I've heard, um, the candidates um, have gone to Ryanair, um, DHL even. Is there any other success stories that, about big airlines that you, See, that you well, can share with us? Well, first of all, just to share that uh, uh, the quality flight is a rather young school, so we don't have a long history mm -hmm. uh, of students, although so far very successful. Uh, we hope that it will continue the same way. But yes, we had, uh, for instance, uh, two uh, students from UK, uh, Neil Gailfold and Barry Hackett. They got jobs really, really quick. Uh, then both of them, they were engineers. So that, in some cases, may make a certain difference to have a, a previous experience. But they got jobs, Neil Gilford in Ryanair, I think, in two and a half months, mm, he okay. got the offer. Wow. And Barry Hackett, Stobartur, 
three months. Okay. It's amazing. Really amazing. Also, we got recently this year some of the students they were graduating in July and in mm -hmm. September they were having the interview in our facilities from Volotea mm -hmm. and three of them getting a job offer. Just two months after. That's absolutely amazing. Really but, good. But you have to be aware it's not normally that easy. So you have to get ready for a potentially more difficult. It might be a little bit of a desert, otherwise it would be too easy. Uh, uh, and uh, we had, for instance, two of our graduates, they took uh, a longer while. But one example, for instance, uh, I'm, not, I'm uh, not sure I should give the name, but one example, uh, he was taking a bit more of time at the beginning. He mm -hmm. was flying into a surveillance small aircraft for seven, eight months. Okay. He yeah. continued working hard, applying, keeping the hair level for the theory because you have some theory exams yeah, as well. Yeah. And he landed maybe the most successful offer afterwards in Cafe Pacific. Oh, that's right. I've okay. heard about this one. Yeah. It's absolutely phenomenal yeah. because that airline is really geared up for Hong Kong. It's yep, one legacy, yep. legacy long haul aircraft, and a legacy carrier. And I think for me it was a proof of uh, endurance and consistency. Mm. It's hard when you maybe not get the first two or three offers. You have to keep it working hard, yeah. keeping applying. Uh, and it was, by the way, in this case, as the first ones I referred were engineers, this person has no prior education. Has the, amazing. Has the high school education, yeah. good soft skills. He worked very hard when he was here, uh, very proactive, very hard working. And I'm very, very glad that this colleague landed a job in uh, Cafe Pacific. Well, that's an absolutely amazing story and well done to this individual. You know who you are. Um, in Congratulations. <laughs> absolutely. Um, now, in terms of security, it is, of course, a lot of money that flight training demands. And on my GoFundMe page, um, I, I specify so many different options to how I'm looking to secure the funds, um, regardless of whether um, I succeed on the course or not. Um, you have mentioned something about a, a sort of security scheme where you are looking at giving 100% of the money back should a, a candidate not succeed in training. Could you tell us a bit more about that and what are the, the terms and conditions for, for this? Well, the security, when, when we give back the full amount, attention, uh, we give back the full amount in case of problems with the uh, medical class. Medical, medical. okay. okay? Yeah. Here in Quality Fly, you make the booking. Many people coming from uh, other countries, mm -hmm. okay, and when they make the the med they come here, they decide to join. They have not completed the medical. Okay? I see. So okay. uh, there's this uh, security of that, but not about the uh, full course. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing to hear because I, but I not, guess not about the full aptitude course, huh? is something that a person can control, but of course the medical is that one big risk that is outside yeah. of the parameters. Um, well, that's amazing. So far, really, really good impressions. It's a beautiful academy. Um, I will post a video later about all the details and how it looks. But thank you so much, Juan. Thanks to you for your and interest. I am Good luck with your thank project. Thank you, absolutely. Yeah, because if the project well. succeeds, I will be right here in this very operations room flying an aircraft. So thank you, thank you so much, guys.